Hey there guys, my name is Seb and today we'll see how Frost can keep his cool when things get heated up. Frost can be played either as a full undamaged caster or he can take the role of a supportive point defense tank. Think of him as the battle mage of Warframe if you will, with incredibly high crowd control potential. His passive gives him a chance to freeze enemies that attack him with melee attacks. Freeze, Frost's first ability has a mixed bag of goodies like damage, crowd control and even support with the Augment Freezing Force. Freezing a target solid in place is one of its primary strengths. Or making pretty ice sculptures, because every Tenno needs a hub. Utilizing the Augment, this ability can also turn into a very potent buff, adding cold damage to a targeted ally for a duration of time, which can be increased by power strength and duration. A very important thing about this skill, especially in PvP, is that it's one of the few skills in the game that is classified as a one-handed action, which means you can use it in a lot of situations without interrupting your current action, like reloading, charging up a weapon, bullet gliding or wall latching being a few that come to mind. Ice Wave allows Frost to send forth a frozen wave, dealing damage and slowing enemies in an expanding cone. This skill is very useful for slowing down massive crowds or simply cleaning a low-level area of enemies. The Augment Ice Wave Impedance allows this skill to leave a frozen trail after casting, which slows down enemies who come in contact with it. Paired with a Nova build around the max strength Molecular Prime, the two can slow down enemies down so much to the point that they might as well just be stunned. Now my favorite skill, Snow Globe. So basically, you summon a defensive dome where you stand, which allows everyone to shoot out of it, but doesn't allow anything to shoot inside of it. This applies to both allies and enemies. Upon activation, every enemy inside of the bubble gets frozen solid for 3 seconds, and then get violently pushed outwards. If they collide with terrain, they may be dealt up to 50% of their total health as finisher damage, which means it ignores armor and shields making it, as of yet, the only skill in the game that can potentially have infinite damage scaling. Well, half infinite anyway. You could potentially kill anything by casting two well-placed snow globes. Every enemy that steps inside the globe also gets slowed down. The globe has a set amount of HP that can be increased by power strength and also 500% of Frost's armor which gets added on top of it all as additional HP. But all that initial starting HP means nothing when you're fighting high level enemies, because the globe can go down within a few seconds after being cast. Luckily, the globe has an initial 4 seconds invincibility period, in which all incoming fire gets converted into extra HP. Every additional globe cast on top of the first one resets its 4 second invincibility period and stacks its HP with the previous one, making it more durable with every cast. The Augment Chilling Globe gives the skill a 50% chance to freeze enemy solid upon entering it, for 8 seconds. Casting Freeze on the outside of the globe will cause it to explode, ragdolling all enemies inside of it and dealing a bit of damage. A max range Snow Globe, a few of Vauban's Bastilles in the center that just barely outrange the globe itself, and then flavor the squad with two frames depending on which faction you're up against. Pretty simple. Ok then, let's continue. Frost's ultimate is called Avalanche. Summoning a barrage of ice around him, Frost freezes all targets in range, increased by power range, for up to 8 seconds, increased by power duration, and dealing a big amount of damage as well. If a target dies from the initial cast, it shatters, damaging enemies around it as well. While frozen, enemies have their armor reduced by 40%. This can be increased further by adding power string mods for up to 100% the armor reduction, which caps out at 250% power strength. So, as you can see, Frost brings a lot to the table, and thus can be modded to specialize in something specific or simply to be a jack of all trades. Here's the build I normally use for everyday things. While here is a build focusing on damage. And for all you team-loving tenors out there, here's a build that focuses on crowd control and support. And now let's see if Frost can stand his ground in the Conclave. By nature, he's big, heavy and slow, but don't think that he's gonna be an easy target because of that, or he'll quickly show you how fast the tables can turn. He works well with most weapons depending on your playstyle of choice. Personally, I like to play him with heavy weapons, since he can stay in a fight for extensive periods of time to dish out some serious damage. 
or due to his innate tankiness and snow globe, he can also take out enemies from a safe distance using a sniper rifle. The build I prefer to use on him is similar to this. And for me, it gets the job done. A target hit by freeze will be slowed down to a crawl, and here the skill also gains slight homing capabilities, alongside the fact that it's a one-handed skill, makes this ability incredibly versatile. Capitalize on that and you'll soon notice how useful the skill can be. Is an enemy trying to run away? Slow him down in order to catch up. Trying to run away from a pursuer? Slow him down. A low HP target is trying to run away or towards you? Slow... Okay, that, that works. Ice Wave can also be pretty useful, but it kind of feels like a niche skill most of the times. It can dish out okay damage, and is also useful to block areas which have a low ceiling with the help of the Augment. And if someone tries fighting you while they're slowed, feel free to pop his head. Not much else going for this skill though. Ah yes, Snow Globe. Now this, this is your bread and butter, your game changer. Used correctly, this ability can save your and your teammates bots a lot of times. It's also useful for locking down areas and setting up sniper nests. But the best feature about this skill is that it makes you a point defense monster. Frost is more than happy to play king of the hill with anything that dares try it, because most often than not, he is the only one that comes out alive. Or if you're feeling a bit cheeky, you can also have some fun with your Loki friend. Because seeing an enemy running in what can only be described as an oversized mousetrap is always amusing. As for Avalanche, well, it's um, horrible. With a pathetic 6 meter cast range and a 2 second cast time, even my grandma can get out of it in time. And if by some miracle you do get someone with it, it's 0.5 second freeze coupled with a measly 40 damage is really not worth the energy. It will eventually get buffed, that's for sure, but as of yet I suggest not using the skill because you have way better options at your disposal. Overall, Frost is an impressive Warframe, able to stand his ground in everything but the toughest of situations. He can both protect and punish. The choice is yours, Tenno. Okay then, thanks for watching everyone and hopefully I'll see you all next time.